I'm here with Rick from Go Professional Cases. Nice to see you again, Rick. Good to see you again. Now we met ten months. Ten months ago. That's right. We met yep. ten months ago. Now what's happened since then? Well, when when we originally met each other, we had just only had a couple of products at that particular time, and so what we did was we moved from the original DJI case and developed that and modified it a couple of times, taking into account what people really needed in the extra accessories. And as we've moved beyond those extra accessories, the products just really took off from that standpoint. The Phantom 2 looks like it's going to be an absolute phenomenal piece. The energy that we're getting and the number of phone calls that we're getting, we think that the Phantom 2 is probably going to far outsell what we've even done with the DJI. So you guys stepped up to be the title sponsor for Expo this year. How'd that come about? Why'd you make that choice? Well. We've done a lot of, uh, through, other, for, through another company that we've got, Caseman Incorporated, that's always been in the industrial high-tech markets. And we've done all the way from the, uh, the uh, medical industries into uh, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Zell 3, and all that kind of thing. We've always done industrial markets. And we go to those shows, and the booths are horribly expensive. And to do sponsorships, they're just, just absolutely cost prohibitive. You've got to be a Lockheed Martin or Boeing or something like that in order to be able to afford to be a sponsor. So we have a very warped perspective on what it takes to become a sponsor. <laughs> and so when we saw what sponsorship was for this, we were just all in. It was just, this was just a no-brainer for us just because of the popularity that we've got and how much people are enjoying our products. And we just thought we'd take it one step farther this year and kind of go out there and see what we could trump in the marketplace. All right, so what we have here is the DJI S800 Evo, and what we wanted to do with this is to have a case that was as compact as possible. It was easy to get in and out of your vehicle, you know, throw in the backseat of the car or easily throw it in your trunk. So well, one of the things that we've had, that we've really got, had a forte on is having really small compact cases with a tremendous amount of product in a very small area. And that's why we're water jetting our foam with polyethylene foam. It's extremely small, it can have very, very thin walls. So what we've done with this particular case is compacted it down to the point that we've got, we get two transmitters in here, one here and one here, and then we've got an accessory cavity in the back, accessory cavity in the front, and this battery tray will actually, in the final version, will be sitting over here. And then what we've got is the H-frame sitting over the top, and the Zen Muse will be dropping right down into this middle cavity right here and will be attached with the camera. And then underneath, we have the booms or the arms with the, with the props attached that lay right down in the bottom of the case. Nice and convenient, all of it organized, all of the accessories in one small area in one very nice small case. There's also going to be an accessory case that's going to be designed for miscellaneous parts so that when people are out on the job that they've got a, an accessory or damaged parts that they can replace easily on the scene. Okay, Rick, well, thanks so much for giving us a look. It's nice great to see you again. again. Yeah, Absolutely. I really appreciate uh, seeing you and all the support you've given us. Oh, and certainly, the certainly. Videos, so <laughs> all right. We'll, see, we'll, see well, you we'll take next care. Right. Uh, from uh, the XAMA Expo in uh, Ontario, California, it's the Roswell Flight Test Crew oh. signing off.